This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading equestrian education source. Here we're in Newport at Mason Phelps Estate where he put on and hosted the Newport Jumping Derby, which was really unique in this country. It was a beautiful setting right near the ocean. Big, big property of Phelps family. And uh, Mason, as he does everything, did it to the nines, did everything just right. He built a beautiful derby field, natural fences, imported other beautiful fences probably of of uh, Steve Stevens type. He had all the tents, he had stabling, he had parties. Unfortunately, it didn't last that long. It was very expensive for Mason to put on. But while it did last, it was great. This is Melanie Smith Taylor on a thoroughbred horse. I bought in Pennsylvania called Radner II. Beautiful thoroughbred horse. They jumped above his ability. All the heart, all the class. Here's Melanie Smith again on a European Val de Loire. And you can see both of those horses were beautiful jumpers. That's Peter Leone on a little bay. I forgot his name. And this is Armin Leone. This is Armin Leone on a horse called Somber. A very useful first jumper. And that looks like Michael Metz on Jet Run. A very, very big scope. You'll see how we jumped almost exclusively on turf in the early days. That looks like Rodney Jenkins on Idle Dice. That was a very typical picture of both the horse and the rider's style. You see Rodney use a long release with his hand moving up the horse's neck very far. Let him use his head and neck to an extreme. And here's Bernie Trarig on the Cardinal. You see he was a real stylist. Bernie started off winning the McClay in the medal finals and kept his style throughout his career on the hunters and the jumpers. You see he rides very much with the horse and a straight line over to the horse's mouth most all the time. He always had a great leg position and put his horse to the right spots. You'll see this, this was a course you don't see today in America. This was a gutsy, big, often very difficult footing, it rained. And the fences were very big fences. Look at that wall. Look at the size of the fences. They are very natural fences. They're very inviting, big, big fences, but more natural than the day, which are also very difficult, but they're more artificial. Here we have Katie Monahan, now Proudhon, uh, one of her early jumpers called Bullwinkle. She owned him and she loved him and he was a good soul, but he had a very Difficult front end to manage. Here's Bernie. He won it. That was a great win. That was an iconic win. And he won it three times on a horse called Singapore. And the Cardinal, this horse, and Edenvale, a big Irish horse. The only unfortunate thing about the Newport Jumping Derby was that it ended. It went from 1976 until the late 80s. But it was one of the great shows of the United States and of which we had more and of which we wish that show would last because you'll see the spectator base was enormous. The property was magnificent. The fences were beautiful. They were big. It was a real European effort that Mason Phelps made. But unfortunately, like many things in today's world, it just became too expensive and to get sponsors and unfortunately the show stopped.